All right, I'm going to do a neat little video here. Me and uh, Dean MK1 kind of came up with this idea together. We're going to shoot standard Foster 12 gauge deer slugs through all of the choke tubes. We want to see if the choke tubes not only affect velocity, I got my chronograph out there, but also accuracy. I got a target down there at 50 yards. So we're going to go through all the choke tubes. Currently I have skeet in the end. There's the package. So we got a skeet choke in there right now, and then we're going to go improve cylinder, then modified, then full. Okay. And yes, you can shoot these slugs through a full choke. It's not ideal because accuracy, blah, blah, accuracy should be all over the place. And also it's squishing the slugs, but in a modern firearm, it's not going to cause any catastrophic failure or anything like that. I'm also going to prove that today. But uh, you want to use, typically what I've heard is use the smallest choke possible for the best possible accuracy. But we're going to run them all, skeet, improved cylinder, modified, and full. And get the chrono readings from it and see if there's any effect on accuracy to the best of my ability. So we're fighting the sun right now. Should be behind those trees shortly. And then we're going to be about out of daylight. But that's my target. Let me show you what one looks like here. So this is what I'm shooting at. If the groups don't open up too much, I'm going to go top left to right, bottom left to right. If they open up too much, I have to keep changing them out. So I'm going to start up here uh, with the skeet, then improved cylinder, modified, full. Unless they start going crazy, I'll have to swap, out, swap them out each time and aim for this. But... We got it zeroed and it was grouping decently tight with the skeet choke, so we'll start with that. So, I don't know how well, yeah, with that freaking sun, but we'll go down and show you each time. Um, hopefully I can find some shade or something where I can pick this up where the shots are going. So, we will show a few from behind the gun and then I might try to find a spot to zoom this in so we can see them hitting. We're gonna do three shot groups with each one. Oh, I'm gonna turn my chrono on. Hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak out the chrono reads, and then we'll do the math. Well, that was a no good read. It said 497. We were getting 1600s earlier. It might be the lighting. Try to go lower on it. Duplicate, it's not. God damn it. Ah! I'm not getting a read. Gotta be the lighting. I'm I'm getting false reads on the chrono of like four or five hundred feet per second. Right, let me see that. Well, that's shitty. It's just saying like five hundred feet a second. 
The other two were 497. That's not accurate. Just 30 minutes ago, we were getting consistent 1600 reads. So the lighting has screwed us. There's my group. A little off to the right. All right. I guess we're just testing accuracy at this point. Sorry. We'll have to do the uh, the velocities next time. All right. So we'll get that skeet out of there and improved. All right. So there's the skeet I took out. So now we got the improved cylinder in there. That looks promising. All right. They're all hitting the same spot. So this time we had three touching, but instead of going up and down, it went left and right. So we'll get that improved out of there and try the modified. You look warm. All right, now we got the modified choke. That was me, but oh. it's definitely the choke. Yeah, hit the same spot. But every time you change the choke, you're getting a different point of impact. That shot was right on top of the other one. That might have been me. Let me shoot one more. Nope. <laughs> That's just the group. All right. That full one here. Full chucks in there now. Oh, you know what? Probably gonna. Well, we'll see what happens. I might need a fresh target.
Is that third one low? Couldn't tell you. Is that where it hit? Couldn't tell you. That's what it looks like. Let's take one more with full just because we did an extra one with modified. And I think that last one went low. Just like what happened with the modified choke. Where it went high low. Yeah, they're definitely hitting low. All right, let's go check the target out. Jump over this here and go check it out. Ugh. All right. So that's a good lesson too. Every time you change the choke, it changes point of impact slightly. So there's three with the skeet. One, two, three, improved cylinder. One, two, three, four with modified. That really moved it off to the right and it started going high low. Okay, and then we got one, two, three, four with the full choke. I would say, yeah, it definitely looks like every one definitely opened up. Not only did it change point of impact on this, but the distance here, slightly more than the distance there in the pattern. Modified choke, pretty obvious. And then full, it's just a string of them with one of them clear down here. So, there you go. Changes your point of impact. And uh, definitely has a, an effect on accuracy. So you definitely want to stay under modified choke and you'll be all right. All right, that's that. We learned what chokes do to point of impact and accuracy. So sorry the uh, chrono didn't work, Dean, but we'll do that next time. That gives you something to look forward to, right? So here soon, I'll come back out. And uh, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, it's because you didn't have the hood and shit on. I know. I found the hood part, the pieces, but I couldn't locate the arm pieces soon enough. We were running out of time if we were going to get out of here today. So next time, I'll make sure I bring the hood pieces up. If we had the hood pieces, it would have worked today. Anyways, so we will do the same thing shortly next time. And see how the chokes affect the velocity. Now we already know what it does to accuracy. We'll see how they affect velocity. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button for me, please. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.